wherever the Moorish Empire went and seeing that they have been there since, uh, you know, since the earlier times, right? The earlier periods before new generations are coming in, new migrations coming. I'm just talking about my, my, my country, you know. My sensible thinking is telling me, and not just that, and my, my intuition tells me there is a connection to the Moors, right? So to say I'm black, to say you're black, what does that mean? It's, it's, it literally, actually, if you think about it, now that I'm thinking about it, you know, it kind of excludes the rest of the other people that were also Moorish descent. Right? And what does it mean to say black anyway? What is the definition of black? And then now we gotta we gotta we gotta contrast that. What is what is the definition of being a more means? What is a more? Because more does not designate color. Right? Black is very restricting. And furthermore, who is truly black? Black is the if you if you look at it, right? It's the, no one is just really black. Look, this this black. This is black. I mean, sure, we 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 can find some different hues of complexion, but no one is just truly completely black. In my thinking, not even the Ita in my country. No. You know, so so I think we we need to move away from those terms. I don't like yellow. You know, yellow is, is, is a word, again, Eurocentric thinking, they've been calling Chinese yellows, you know. Filipinos, brown. It didn't mean anything to us. It doesn't mean anything at all to say, hey, yo, brown? You know, <laughs> we, we, call it, we call ourselves really Pinoy Pinay. Pinoy Pinay, or simply put, Filipina or Filipina. Right, so we this is this is what I'm talking about. I think we need to move away from this conditioned thinking. This is part of the Eurocentric thinking.